everyone. Today we're making kombucha marinated chicken kebabs with some zucchini, bell peppers, and pineapple. Now, if you've never used uh, kombucha before as a marinade, you're in for a little surprise because it really works well as a marinade. It's very, it's acidic. So that means that it will really tenderize your meat, whatever it is. So, you know, you can use beef or chicken or whatever. And it really imparts some nice flavor. Now we're gonna be adding some other things to our marinade sauce, but it really works well. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So let's talk about our ingredients. Now I'm gonna be using chicken thighs for this because I just like them better. They're more flavorful, they don't dry out. And the difference is, is that with the chicken breast though, it's much easier to cut into nice little chunks, right? So you'll have to work with this a little bit, cut out the excess fat like I did, and then just cut it into to chunks, you know, the best you can, not a big deal. We need to plan ahead with this recipe because we need to marinate our chicken or beef, whatever you happen to be using, uh, for at least one to two hours or overnight. That would be the best. But today we're gonna do one to two hours and that really works well. Now we said we're marinating this with kombucha. I just went to the store, I read the labels on them, made sure there were no natural flavors and things in there that shouldn't be. And uh, I picked out this one. They have a lot of flavors, guys. So, you know, pick a flavor that you think sounds good that's gonna go with your dish. So I picked out ginger lemon for today because I'm doing the pineapple. It just seemed to, seemed to be the right choice for me. All right, so we're gonna start with our kombucha. Do yourself a favor, do not shake this up or you will not be happy because it has a lot of pressure. In fact, look at that, it's already trying to come up. So be cautious when you open up your kombucha. All right, so we're gonna take, uh-oh, look at that. There we go, right on films, going overboard. All right, well, we're gonna take a cup of it out and we, boy, this stuff is alive, look at that. All right, we're gonna just toss that right in there. <laughs> and we're gonna add some olive oil and I'm gonna put about a third of the cup in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of ground cumin. Coconut aminos, have you, have you seen this before? Have you used this before? It's sort of like a soy substitute. And you could also use um, soy sauce if you want, or tamari sauce, which is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. So any of those will work. And I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup. Toss that in. And I've got some fresh garlic here. I love fresh garlic in my marinades. So we'll just put some of that in there. Now when we're using the kombucha, the idea here is not that we're thinking we're adding probiotics to our dish because we're not. Because when you cook this, and it's subjected to heat, it's gonna kill all that. Now we're just using it for the flavor and the tenderizing ability of it. So I just wanna make sure everybody understood that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of maple syrup to sort of counteract all of the acidity. And then if you wanna add some heat to it, I like to add just a touch of sriracha sauce, which really kinda of just adds a nice little touch to it. I'm gonna add a nice pinch of salt to that. And I'm just gonna squeeze in, I got a little bit of lime here, so I'm just gonna squeeze some of that fresh lime juice in too. I like the fresh flavor of that. I'm gonna take some of the marinade and put it in with the chicken. And I'm gonna save some of it to use on the vegetables in it, so I don't wanna cross-contaminate. That's why I'm just doing this separate. Just wanna make sure that this is covered really well, because remember, we're gonna go ahead and marinate this for at least an hour before we make our little kebabs. I'll cover it with some saran wrap and we'll pop it right in the fridge. I'm gonna prep up the veggies for this now. So I've got my zucchini here, and you just wanna cut it into chunks, basically, that's gonna fit on your skewer. And by the way, skewers, I have skewers here, here they are. And what you want to do with these, these are wooden skewers, you want to soak them. I just placed mine right here in a Ziploc bag because that was easier than trying to find a dish that was big enough to, you know, fit them in and soak them. You want to soak them for about 20 minutes. That way they won't burn. 
and burn down your house. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, you do wanna soak them. I'm just gonna cut these into chunks. Now you can leave them this big, you can cut them in half, you can do whatever you darn well please. You don't wanna make them too small because they cook up fairly quickly. Okay, and then I'm gonna take these, I'm just gonna to toss them into my marinade. For the bell pepper, pretty much the same thing. You're just gonna cut these off, get rid of the seeds, and just cut this into pieces that will fit on the skewer. So I cut it into quarters, and then I'm gonna cut it into you know, little pieces like this that I can just slide right on. So I'll cut that into thirds. And then I'll just give that a stir. So while we're waiting for our chicken to marinate in the fridge in that beautiful kombucha marinade, now would be a good time to take a moment to hit that subscribe and like button, and that way you can catch all my new videos every week. So we've marinated our chicken for about an hour and a half, and now we're ready to assemble our kebab. So I've got my sticks, I took them out of the water. Now I'm gonna show you how to, we're gonna line them up and put them on the, on the skewers. Now my pineapple chunks, I bought these already cut up, you know, came, came already, you know, you can see it here already cut up into chunks, made it you know just much quicker for me. I didn't have to cut up a pineapple, which made it nice. And if they're too big, you can just slice them down a little bit. So that's what I'll probably do here with some of these, because they're kind of big. All right, so you just do pretty much whatever you doggone want, okay? Now you want to leave some part down here, you know, open so that you can hold it, turn it, cook it, whatever. Now with the chicken, here we go. Let's just take a nice little chunk and you're just gonna Slide it on, and hopefully it'll behave itself and stay on there. So you can just alternate. I don't want to cross contaminate. I got my hand in the chicken over there. I've got my veggies over here, so I'm not going to place. You know, I'm not going to use that hand for uh, putting it in the vegetables. So my left hand is for vegetables, and my right hand is for chicken. I'm just a fanatic about that kind of thing. I think it's important. You know, I just don't like to have anybody get sick or, you know, not feel well. And you can stack chicken chunks, you know, if they're too small. Next comes some zucchini, bell pepper. And then we can finish with, a, with another pineapple. Perfect, right? So we're just gonna continue with that until I get these all lined up and uh, then we'll start cooking. So here's my setup. I have a couple of grill pans here. This one happens to be cast iron. Oh boy, that's pretty hot. And then I have this other one here that's more of a non-stick. You can also do this outside in your, on your barbecue if you want to. So what I did was is I took the marinade that was in the vegetables and I poured some of it off into here so that I can use that to sort of baste with as we cook. And I'm not gonna, you know, contaminate the rest of the batch this way, you know, cause I'm gonna be touching chicken with this and everything else. So basically, let me just start laying these on. and you can hear them sizzle. And we're just gonna grill these up until they are done. And like I said, I'm gonna, you know, give a little splash of this on here. This marinade is really tasty. It also has a little maple syrup in it, as you know, and it's probably gonna make it stick a little, but that's okay, I like the caramelization. And right now, like I said, it's making a lot of noise, but I only have this on low. And we just have to make sure that chicken gets done. All right, so I'm gonna check these here. These guys are getting pretty charred. This section here is a little hot, so I'm gonna rotate these over. Looking good. Eh, not so much. These guys are getting there. Just rotate them around until that chicken gets done. We don't want it too hot so that it, you know, doesn't have a chance to cook to the inside. So cook these until the chicken is not, no longer pink inside and about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So keep your temperature up a good medium high. That way you'll get a nice charring on your vegetables. And uh, again, use an instant read thermometer and check your temperature of your chicken. Don't these kebabs look amazing? Look at this, nice and charred up. Let's try one. Okay. Perfectly cooked. Love that. Man, that pineapple is sweet. Mm. 
fantastic. I really like this marinade. So delicious. Everything is cooked just right. It's amazing. The vegetables aren't mushy. They're nice. They got a nice little crispness to them. Now for the chicken. Love that marinade. I think it would be better to go longer than an hour and a half for marinating though. You'll get more flavor into the meat. So definitely do at least, I would say four hours minimum. Overnight, going to be dynamite. That's delicious guys. Hope you try it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the like button and share the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.